Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be the long awaited summer project use it up introduction. I have some really fun scents here to share with you guys. I did the same thing that I did in the spring, which was make my scent combos. And I think you guys are gonna really like what I came up with. So let's go ahead and get started. And I do just wanna say to all the new subscribers out there, thank you so much for joining me and my channel. I have noticed quite a few comments and a few new subscribers coming in. So welcome. We do all fun body care candle things on this channel. And I hope you are ready for all of the SAS content because it's coming up. Okay, I'm gonna get straight Straight into the good stuff and that is my beach nights combo which i'm so excited to use because beach nights was my favorite scent that they brought out last year so i saved myself another set to use this year so i'm actually going to start off with the perfume that i'm pairing with beach nights which is skylar clean beauty's vanilla sky this one is so amazing it's a very nice and simple vanilla scent I am pretty much at the top. I used this for about a month um, in my spring project, but didn't get too much use on it. This to me is like honestly vanilla sugar is what it smells like. Not really much else to it. It's a little bit warm, um, but that's this like super simple vanilla scent. So I think it's gonna pair really well with the marshmallow. So I have the fine fragrance mist here for you guys. And the notes are toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, and creamy vanilla. Now I will say that the marshmallow comes through for me the strongest and then like that beach driftwood and vanilla is at the end. That driftwood is like actually pretty strong. Um, the driftwood slash like sea salt gives it like an airy note. So it's not completely gourmand, which actually to me makes it better because it makes it more of a summertime scent versus like a, you know, cakey, um, just marshmallow scent, which I would associate for like fall or winter. So this to me is like the perfect summer scent. So I am right about here on the packaging. You can see I marked it a few times in the past, um, I believe in my last summer project. So we're right up at the top. I don't wanna finish the mist, honestly, but I do wanna make some significant progress. Probably down to halfway would be really great. So that's what I'm thinking for the mist. And then I do have the shower gel and the body lotion, which are both unused. You can see what they look like here. The lotion actually has turned a little bit more yellow. I remember when I first got it, it was bright white and now it is kind of like a creamy white and honestly you can kind of see the packaging itself has changed color so i don't know if it's just the um the lotion or maybe it's just the packaging but either way it's definitely not going bad it still smells really good um but yeah these are both unused so very excited to put these in the project so another combo that i'm putting in that i'm really excited this one is a mix mash of a bunch of things so i've got coco paradise and Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush. So Coco Paradise from this year I have in the shower gel and in the lotion. I have used these both a little bit um, just because I was like testing them out when I first bought them, but we are right here on the shower gel and then we are actually marked this and then I used it this morning. So we are right down here on the body lotion, but the notes are salted coconut manoi, sugared neroli and bronzed sandalwood. This one to me, Smells a lot different in the shower gel versus the lotion. And I don't have the mist, but it is very like sexy summer to me. It's like sexy sunscreen. <laughs> the lotion smelled so good when I put it on this morning. I really am enjoying this. It is like a sophisticated sunscreen scent, honestly. I think it's that sugar neroli and coconut manoi. Makes me think of like a tropical vacation. And I'm really excited to use this because I feel like it's gonna be perfect for the summer months. And so to pair with it, I am going to put in Sol de Janeiro's 62 Pistachio in Salted Caramel. Now this one is used just a little bit. So we are right here. Um, the notes are top notes of pistachio and almond, mid notes of heliotrope and jasmine petals, and dry notes of vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood. If you haven't smelled this one, I highly recommend it. It is so yummy and like the perfect summer scent. And this spray lasts forever on me. I don't know what it is about this, but it lasts so long. So I'm really excited to pair that with Coco Paradise. I think the two are gonna be really great together. And then also to pair with those two, I'm gonna put in the Trader Joe's Brazil Nut line. So I have the body butter and the body scrub from last year. So I did use the butter a little bit. I'll open it up for you guys. 
So you can see it's not completely full because I used it last year. Ugh. It really smells so much like the Sol de Janeiro mist. It smells very, very similar. And if I use this and the mist, it's gonna last all day long. So I'm very excited about this one. And then the body scrub I actually never used. It still has the foil on it. I think I cracked the foil just to smell it, but I will have to like mix it up because it is a um, salt scrub, I think, right? Made with guarana and aloe leaf extracts, a delightful salted caramel and pistachio scent. It doesn't actually say what kind of scrub it is, but I think it is a salt scrub because it looks super coarse, you can see. And yeah, I definitely need to um, mix it up because it's super harsh, um, I mean, super dry right now, but I can tell like at the bottom that it has a lot of oils. So maybe I'll store it upside down for a day or so and then mix it up before I use it in the shower, but very excited to try this out. It smells really good, so I'm ha I have high hopes for this one, but that is my Brazil Nut Cocoa Paradise scent combo. Now for a fun twist, I have a few scents that don't have complete combos, so they are missing a lotion, but I still think it's gonna be pretty fun and something unique to add into the project besides just the like coconut summer scents. So right here I have a mint chocolate combo. So I have the I Heart Revolution Shower Shake in vegan mint chocolate. This was $4.99 from TJ Maxx. It smells so good. I definitely get a lot more chocolate than I do mint. It smells like mint hot cocoa. It smells so good. And then mint chocolate swirl from Bath and Body Works. This was a, I believe Canada exclusive and then it came to the outlet. So I was able to pick it up at my outlet. It does not have notes, but it is the same scent as um, Coconut Mint Drop, which is one of my favorites for the winter time. So both of these are unused. Oh, I have not used this scent in so long. It smells amazing. So I'm excited to have something like unique and fun to put into the project and just like have fun with it, honestly, because sometimes my projects get a little boring. So I wanted to switch it up with something like completely out of the blue. So that's my little mint chocolate milkshake combo. And then for the last scent combo, I am calling this Sunshine Wonder. So I have Pure Wonder and I have Sunshine Mimosa. So Pure Wonder in the um, Exfoliating Glow Body Scrub. I love this Exfoliating Glow formula. It's very gentle. I feel like I can use it every single day. And I'm excited to try Pure Wonder because I've never tried it in a full-size body care formula. So the notes are Iced Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. I know this is more of like a wintertime scent, but to me it's just like a nice sophisticated floral. So I think it could be used in the summer. And this is actually like the only like gentle scrub that I own right now. So I'm just gonna try it and see what I think. I've squeezed the bottle and we are about right here. I've never used this though. Um, but yeah, it usually comes with a little bit of air in the tubes of the body scrubs. So that's where I'm at with this one. And then Sunshine Mimosa I have in the moisturizing body wash and in the perfume. So very excited to try those two together. So for the moisturizing body wash, I actually had it in my summer project last year. So it's already about down to here. So it won't take me long to finish this one up. I definitely wanted to use this and finish it pretty soon just because it's taking up space in my collection and there's not a lot left of it. And then I have the Sunshine Mimosa Perfume Spray. Um, the notes on this are bright bubbly champagne and fresh, fresh citrus. So also on the perfume, I have not used much at all. I think I tested it for a little bit, but this is definitely much more like strong and in your face than the shower gel. I think the shower gel is a lot more like bubbly than it is like citrus or floral. And this perfume is a little bit floral, I have to say. So I'm excited to try these out, see how they go together. So that's my little sunshine wonder scent combo. Okay, I've got a set of minis and then I've got some perfumes and then we're done. So I have these minis from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Coco Cabana scent combo. This was like a little set that I got from Sephora. I know they're discontinuing this and I'm so sad because this is the first time I'm getting to try it. So I don't even know if I like it yet and I'm not even gonna be able to buy any more. So that's sad. But anyways, I've got this little mini travel set. I thought it'd be great for summertime because I do a lot of traveling during the summer. Um, so I definitely will take this with me, but this one is coconut cream and toasted praline. It does not say the notes anywhere, but this is like your classic coconut scent. It smells so good. So I have it right here in the fine fragrance mist. I have the moisturizing body cream cleanser. 
And these are all unused and I have the Coco Cabana cream, which is just the body cream. I love this like aqua blue color. It's so cute. So very excited to try this one out. And then finally, I've got three little perfume samples. So I am bringing back the Chance um, by Chanel little perfume sample. I have so little left and it was in my last spring project. So I'm just gonna finish it off. And it's like a really nice, sophisticated scent. It's honestly like too perfumey for me because I'm very sensitive to that kind of stuff. So I won't buy it in the full size, but I do like just trying it out. And I have to say it is my longest lasting perfume that I've ever tried. And then I have these two from Replica. So I bought a Replica um, travel size sample set of all of their scents. And I'm gonna be putting in both Beach Walk and Sailing Day. So they are both, I think I've used them once, but they're both like at the same level. So very excited to try these out, see what I think of them. I definitely wanna purchase some replica perfumes once I try out the little minis and see what I like. But yeah, very excited to try these out. Okay, so that is everything for my summer project use it up introduction. So I know for the springtime, I gave myself a goal of 15 products and I actually finished 17. So I think I'm gonna be ambitious this time and go for 20. I actually only have 19 products in the project right now. So that means I need to get through all of these plus whatever else I end up putting in the project. And you know what? I think I probably could besides the miss because I'm not really focusing on finishing all of them. I think I could definitely finish this Brazilian Crush just because it's a little bit smaller. It's only three ounces, which is perfect. I can fly with it. I didn't realize that. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna finish up all those mists, but I will definitely shoot to finish up the shower gels and the um, body lotions as well as the minis, which I think will be the easiest thing to finish up. And I'll probably end up putting in more empties um, after the first couple of months. So, and I probably will end up putting it in, and I probably will end up putting in more minis as the months go on and I finish the ones that I have in right now. So that might be the easiest way to get through all 20 products that I wanna get through, but I think it's a really good realistic number and I think I could do it. So cross your fingers for me, you guys. I have a lot to get through, but I'm very excited about the unique combos that I came up with for the summertime. So let me know down below, what are you wearing this summer? Are you wearing some Sol de Janeiro? Are you wearing Strictly Bath & Body Works? Let me know down below, but that is everything for today's video. I will see you guys tomorrow for SAS content. So turn on your bell notifications so you can be notified when I upload that stuff. But that is everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.